Joining me now is Mark Hauck, who is a pro-life activist whose home was raided by the FBI last September. He's also running for Congress in Pennsylvania. Uh, Mark, good for you. Uh, does this surprise you, given your own experience? And what do you think should happen at this point to Chris Ray? First of all, I'm a Roman Catholic. I don't know who they're talking about, these traditional radical Catholics. I guess they're just people who believe in Roman Catholicism at this point. Yeah. Well, it's obvious to me two things are happening here, Laura. The first thing is D Director Ray is not doing his own personal investigation uh, as it pertains to my situation, because I was raided by the FBI, surprised I wasn't shot like Mr. Robinson, and he did not do a personal investigation as it pertains to the Richmond memo. Or the second thing, he flat out perjured himself before the oversight committee. Either way, he it's clear that DOJ is targeting people of faith and declaring them enemies of the state. Well, if you see this and you think this can't be happening in the United States of America where religious liberty is sacrosanct and our free exercise rights protected under the First Amendment. So, you know, the liberals love the Establishment Clause, but we also have the Free Exercise Clause. And it seems, Mark, that religious beliefs are under attack on, in a whole host of ways. This article, you're not going to believe this, called A Devout Catholic Couple Claims That Massachusetts Banned Them From Participating in the State Foster Care System Due to Their Religious Beliefs. They claim that the state restricted them due, the, due to their adherence to Catholic teachings on gender, sexuality, and marriage. Mark, um, well, something like this has to be challenged and ultimately make its way to the Supreme Court. But do you ever think would arrive at this day in the United States of America when something like this could happen? Look, I, I woke up one Friday morning prepared to take my children to their homeschool co-op. I had a quiche in the oven. And at 6.30 in the morning, I had a pre-dawn raid with heavily armored FBI agents, 20-plus uh, law enforcement. I could never imagine that my children would be woken up in the middle of a slumber and that their father would be arrested and accosted in front of them and taken away in shackles. So, yeah, it doesn't surprise me what's happening in Massachusetts. I'm not surprised. People who want to foster uh, kids that are in the system, they have a great heart. They have a generous heart. And to, be, to, to, to deny them because of faith makes absolutely no sense to me. Well, and Catholic adoption agencies, of course, have closed down because of uh, their faithful beliefs as well. Mark, you were the best person on this tonight. Thank you so much. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.